Boom, guys. This is another episode with Pancho Gomita. Uh, I'm going to give you a quick review on the SP Reef Light Ultra. This is the 48 inch. Uh, and I divide into the good and the bad. So let's start with the good. You know, the positive are the price. It's only $699 for a full length, uh, four foot aquarium that is capable of handling all the way to the most um, demanding SPS like Acropora. So, so that's, that's very good. You know, if you compare it to other lights um, that it will handle this same diameter, it will be, you know, at least double the price. So this is, this is a very good point. So for somebody who is in a budget, it's very good. Uh, the other thing is the versi versatility. Um, it comes with a hang-on, so you can either hang it off your roof uh, right here through these crevices, you slide it in and you can hang him or also it comes with this mount brackets, it's all included. Um, I like the mount because as you guys can see my the roof of my house is, is quite quite high and that will be just not possible. So it gives them a little bit of versatility of mounting them any, any way you want. You can also mount them if you have a canopy, you can also do it that way. Another good thing is the heat uh, dispersion. This material, this metal material is actually very nice. It always stays very cold. So I'm assuming that it helps the dials on the LED to perform at its peak. Um, you know, so, so this is very good. Uh, the design is very slick, the way that they made it. Um, it's not it's not actually ugly either, you know, I have it on my aquarium and I don't believe it looks bad at all So that's very good uh, And just going to my last point the slim profile is very nice uh, So I truly like it. I think it's a very good life for the money um, If I could spend more yeah, I will go to some different lights but if your budget is if you want to eliminate a four foot tank with full of Acroporas and SPS and you know, Montes and all that kind of uh, corals, definitely you can, you can keep all this SPS, no problem, with only one light fixture, very economical. So let's go to the bat, the app. Oh my God, the bat, the app is so bad. It's a Chinese made, uh, then the introduction is in Chinese. You have to get into a setting of a Wi-Fi to then in order to operate. And then the system is just so, so, so poorly made. It's just ridiculously bad. So if you're a, a tech savvy person, it will drive you crazy. It's just a, a really poorly designed, poorly executed. You know, from one out of 10, 10 meaning Facebook did it or Apple designers made it and one is an accountant made it or, or somebody that is not an engineer at all I will give them a two it's so poorly designed so bad I can't believe you know and, and probably that's to reduce the cost um, like I mentioned before these lights probably are made in China when I received the box everything was in Chinese uh, Mandarin I speak a little bit so I can understand the headings on the box and yes it's, it's probably made in China um, and I'm assuming the app also is made in China. I have seen other lights um, actually saw in Alibaba that they use the same app that this light uses. So I can 90% be sure that the app is made in China and the light is made in China. However, the light is not bad. You know, it's, it's not bad at all. The app is horrible, but not the light. Um, the driver box. I want to show you this. So what they design, when they design this light, they say, okay, let's put the light, let's make it as slim as possible so you don't have any drivers running through the light. So you have this two wire that I try to manage it to be a little slick and they go to this big box right here. And look at how big it is. It's, it's quite large. You know, it's, it's very, very, very large. Um, and this is where all the drivers or um, the internet connection, everything is right here. So the, the reason why they did that is just to kind of keep salt uh, and water and all that out of the electronics so it will last longer. But, you know, um, I had to put this 
a cabinet where I keep all my testing and everything that I have from, for the aquarium to kind of block this ugly box. So the idea is good. Yes, you want to keep all those electronic out of the um, salt and the water. Yes, but it's just poorly executed. Like I said, they, they went on the, on the low cost right route and that's what you get, you know, and, and it's what it is. You know, there's, there's nothing else I can talk about it. Uh, and then the craftsmanship, you know, um, probably in the factory that they make. Quality is not the, it's not the best. Let me see if you guys can see. Let me see on this side. There is some areas where it's chip. I don't think you guys can see it. Maybe, let me see, right there. You see this is a piece of metal right here that is coming out. And I think, so, uh, right here it's a little to the side. Maybe I've been a little too picky, right? Uh, right here. To put this mount, uh, there were some areas where, right here in these areas, there were a little chips on it, on the inside, and I had to just kind of like force it in. So, <clears throat> quality on the craftsmanship, uh, mm, I don't know, not the best. Um, I just have to give it a, a score um, out of 10. 10 means the best light that I could, that I have seen before, like a radium or something like that. I will give them, I will give them a 7.5. Uh, I think for somebody that hits on a budget, I would like to keep SPS. Definitely, that, that's a 10. It's a no-brainer. This will cover a foot. Uh, it gives you also the option, which I believe I'm going to do later. I'm going to put some brackets here, and I'm going to put an LED, uh, a T5 on this side, and a T5 on that side, and I think it will make it even better. <clears throat> but overall, it's a good light. Uh, it's a good um, bang for your buck, and you don't need to go really, really expensive in order to keep SPS. Uh, this is my little acro right here. I got it as a little, little frag. It was just like a one, it was like a little, little thing like this big. And now it's like that, it's fully encrusted. So definitely you can, you can grow good corals, nicely beautiful. And let me show you just how my uh, frags are doing. Uh, this is only after a week. And the little colonies like this one's already starting to grow. These little ones are still a little struggling. This one I think is fine, that one's fine, this one is fine. But these two little ones and the one in the back, a little struggle, but you know, they will be, they will be okay. Um, once again, thank you guys very much for, for watching this. And if you are interested into buying these every SB Reef Lights Ultra, they're very good lights. Uh, it will grow, so you can be safe on that end. All right, guys. Thank you. Bye.